So have you guys like made a video and then you find a song but the song wasn't quite long enough to fit the video? This is something that I found out by Peter McKinnon and it is it has changed the way how I look at songs. See, I used to be like, well, it's kind of nice but it's not long enough or I try to hand stitch it myself. I would, I would find a place where the song kind of repeats, right? You cut it, then you find another place earlier in that song where it's kind of, where it's kind of the same. You match it up, maybe add a crossfade, make, try to make it a nice smooth transition roll. With this, you don't have to worry about that. You just throw it in here, it does it for you. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, so we are in Adobe Premiere, which we don't need to be. So you come over here to Adobe Audition. All right, so, okay, so it's gonna bring you to this page. You're going to come over here to multi-track. Click that, and then this is gonna tell you like where do you want me to put the project. Okay, so then you find the song that you wanna use. All right, so we're gonna click and drag. I'm holding it right now. We're gonna drop it in. We're gonna come over here to enable remix right there. You're gonna hit that. It should take about a few minutes. It says 38 seconds, 28 seconds. Right, okay, so I would have wanted to, I wanna know how long of a video do I need. So this is the how I food photography for you guys who wanna know how I do that. Go ahead and click the link up there, over there. Where is it? Over here? It's over here. Go ahead and click that little eye, that link in the eye if you guys wanna check that out. What I do is that I press X. X will give me this little work area thing and it'll show me how much time this, how long this video is right here. So it's seven minutes and 30, and 30 seconds. So I can come over here to audition, uh, right here where, it's, where it says disable remix. These numbers right under here, we are going to punch in seven minutes and 30 seconds. I'm gonna hit that and boom, it is done. And it does a great job of stitching it together. You can see right here where the squiggly lines is where it it stitched the song together. So yeah, so let's go over here, right here, and you can hear what it did and what it sounds like. That's that's pretty good. Sounds pretty like you can barely hear. I couldn't even done it better than that. So you have a few more options. A few options you can do: export and ex uh, export multi-track mix down, and do the entire session. Or you can say export to Adobe Premiere Pro and hit that. Before I hit that, I want to tell you that it doesn't have to be longer. Let's say that you're doing a commercial and you need a 30 second, a 30 second spot. Or maybe not a 30 second, maybe uh, let's do two. We're gonna do semicolon. Let's say that you're doing like a 60 second commercial. And you want to use this song. I think it I think it does pretty good. So you can be longer or shorter. Come over here to export, export to Adobe Premiere, click OK. It's telling do you it's saying do you want to rewrite, overwrite something that I already have done and I usually do yes because like I said it's so easy that I just redo it whenever I need a new video. So then OK. And then I, it usually puts it into the timeline. Yeah, here it is right here. And you got a perfect match for your video. This obviously isn't the right, isn't the right <laughs> music for this. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. I use this technique all the time. It's super easy. Whenever I need a song for a video, whenever I find a song that I like for a video, I'm not constrained to, to how long it is or how short it is. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this guy this hope that okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this tip was able to help you guys. I hope you use it. It's a, it's a nice little tool to have in your back pocket, tucked away in your back pocket for when you want to use it. All right. So thank you for watching. Tune in next week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Boom.